Hi guys, thank you for joining us on this free training for how to build your blog sites with Yive. I've got Robert on the line. You okay, Robert? Doing fantastic. I am so excited about this. I know so many people have been waiting for this training. It's super good. And of course, we've got the main person who brought this all together. And we've got Kurt Crowley on the line. You, you there, Kurt? I am. I am. Thank you, Stephen, for, for having me. I appreciate it. Thank you, Robert. We've got yeah, so many what, people. It's, it's nothing, there's nothing better than having the, the authority expert to explain and train what you can do with this type of system. And you know what? I'm not going to mess around with any of the fluff in, in normal webinars. <laughs> we are literally going to hand straight to Kurt to get straight into this training for you guys. Hold your questions to the end, and we're happy to answer those questions at the end. But we're just going to listen to Kurt and watch him do this. This is fantastic. Go ahead, Kurt. Sure. Appreciate it, guys. Um, first off, my name is Kurt Curley, and I have been in software creation for many years. Um, I've created software to create Chrome extensions. I've created tons of other software um, in order to help business owners. And one of the areas that I see a lot of need in is in SEO. And a lot of larger SEO companies have private blog networks. And for the smaller guys who are trying to get into it, it's hard to establish and create multiple, multiple blogs and then start throwing content and then getting backlinks built for your customers, it makes it pretty difficult. Uh, one of the things that I found was a company called Yive Sites. Now, I know the owner of this company and I've actually approached him saying, I love your, your Yive Sites blogging, which they do have an unlimited account deal, which I believe Stephen will tell you about a little bit later. Um, and it's a great way to build blogs. Now, with the unlimited deal, you can build as many blogs as you want. And then my mind started going, hey, can we automate the blog account creation process? Can we bulk create blogs? And then the second question is, could we bulk post to those blogs that we create? And the answer is yes. And I went ahead and started looking at the dashboard that Yive Sites has and creating a blog is quite simple. It does take a few mouse clicks. You click on create a new blog. You would type in the name, uh, demo blog. And then I'm just going to put uh, my name here as the blog name. Now, subdomain. Some people just put whatever they want. I'm just going to my first and last name. You can put in a description here if you want. Um, what I'm going to do is just grab the blog name and put it in as the description. Now, Yive Sites used to have just 20 servers with different IPs that you could put your blog on, which was a great start. But they have expanded that to over 60 different servers. And here is the beautiful portion about this is each one of these servers has a unique IP address. So you get to run through here and then you can create 60 different blogs on 60 different IP addresses. Now, of course, you got to keep track when you're, when you're setting up your servers. Now, the next thing is, is what theme do you want? Now, if you wanted to see what their themes look like, we can go ahead and just open up into a new tab. And this will give you an idea of what their themes look like. Uh, active theme is a default um, video theme. They do have product themes. I don't recommend those. The ones that are more post type or video theme are the ones that I would definitely recommend that you would go with. So I'm gonna close out of this tab here. And then of course, you're gonna do the drop down and then choose what theme that you're wanting to do. Once you have that done, all you have to do is click on create. Now, here's the thing. Let's say that you wanted to create 20 blocks. Well, this is gonna take you some time. So what we can do is instead of sitting here waiting and looking and everything else, let's automate it a little, a little bit. So let me pull this up real quick. 
And I'm just going to create five blogs called blog name one, two, three, four, five with the description of one, two, three, four, five. We have a title header right here, name and description, everything lowercase. So I'm just going to save this, make sure that's what we need. I'm going to minimize this. Now, when you subscribe to Auto Yive, you're going to be getting your own unique key. The only time that you can put in your key is once you go to yivesites.com. This extension only works inside of Yive Sites. So keep that in mind. So I'm going to click on Create Blogs. And now it's going to ask me for my CSV. Now your CSV can have a number of blogs in there ready to be set up. Totally up to you. Uh, we are going to be adding some uh, features to this, such as being able to select what theme, um, narrow down the scope of themes, because right now when we're doing this, we're just going to randomize through all of the themes that are available, including the product ones, which I don't like. So we're going to be giving you options when you're creating your blogs. So once we upload the CSV, we're going to click on generate. And here it's going to start the process. Here's the beautiful portion about it. You don't have to sit here and watch. You can go to other tabs, start getting your post ready, which I'm gonna explain this one here in just a few minutes, and get it ready to start doing the posting to the blogs that you're creating. So I'm gonna come back over to our Yive Sites admin. If I click on this, it's going to show us how many blogs it's already created. It's created one. And this is one of the areas that it does take about 20 to 30 seconds per blog to create a blog. But this is time that you can do other things. This is one of the reasons why we're only creating five blogs because I want you to see the full process and not have to worry about that. So I'm gonna come back over to the demonstration post and I'm gonna talk about this for a moment while we're waiting for the blogs to be created. The beautiful portion about Auto Yive is that it allows you to create unique posts on your blog network that you've created. What do I mean by that? Well, you're gonna notice that I have spin text here inside of the actual post that I have templated out here. And that is because this is going to be the title or the permalink of the actual posts on each individual blog. So we can spin the title. We can then come in here and spin the text inside of the posts, making each post even more unique whenever we're submitting it to, um, let's say you wanna send it over to another tool called Yive Ranker and uh, get those pages boosted even more but I've got other places that I could talk to you about. And then you're gonna notice one more thing. Let's say that you wanted to rotate an image. Well, you can then put in your image source. This is HTML, That's it's simple. So there's image source equals, and then of course we have the spin text of these three images. So it's rotating the images on each one of these posts as well, thus making your posts more and more and more unique. One of the things that you're also gonna notice is I have an iframe here. Yes, you can actually iframe in videos from YouTube, from Vimeo, from Snake Player, from multiple different places that you can, Wistia, you can embed those videos directly into your posts here as well. Thus, and if you wanted to, spin them once again put in a unique video per, po per post if you wanted to. Or if you're selling a service such as backlinks or video embeds, you can then put in a video embed, create the post, post it to your blogs and send the results to your customer, letting them know that the job is done. And I'll talk more about that a little bit later as well. Let's come back over to Yive Sites and I'm going to click on this icon one more time and all five blogs have been created. And we can click on download report and I'm going to open up the CSV here and it's going to tell me all about the blogs. Let me move it over here. It's not quite as big as I need to in order just to grab the 
bar. There we go. Oh, no, one more time. When you have two monitors, this is what happens. There we go. Now I can drag this over and I'll make this full screen. You're going to notice that it's created the blogs and these are the blog URLs. It's the same as the blog name and it shows that it's created. There was no error. And this is the database ID for each one of the blogs. So now that we have these five sites created, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to scroll down. Right now it shows 126. I'm going to come back up here and I'm just going to refresh the screen here. And then we're going to scroll down to the bottom. We now have 131. It created those five new blogs, which you can see him them here. Blog name 54321. These are the themes that we selected for each one as well. And the random servers to help spread the load of your PBN across multiple IP addresses. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the icon here again, and we're going to come back and we're going to now do a new post. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on uh, the blogs that we're going to be posting to. Normally I do that as a last step. So what I'm going to do is actually come over here and grab all the text that we have here, come back over, click on the icon, paste in the content. Now you're going to notice these special characters. We'll talk about that in just a few minutes. That way you can see exactly what's going on. Here's the title. So I'm going to grab the title, but I'm just going to copy it. I'm not going to remove it because this is going to be unique and that's going to be unique. That is one of the huge, more powerful because now you have a unique title and a unique subtitle per post. So once we have this done, the next thing we're going to do is click on thumbnail. Now, these are the default inside of Yive. You're going to notice that we have a media library. The default media library, we can pick up and then select an image from there. In a future version, Robert had asked about this, if we could select multiple different images and then it rotate through those. The answer is yes, that's going to be coming as well. Fantastic. So I'm just going to select that image that's right there. Now I'm going to select my blogs. Now remember, we just created those five blogs, didn't we? So I'm just going to select those five. That way you could see how quick this is. And then we're going to go back and then we're going to click on create. Now this normally takes about 10, maybe 15 seconds per blog to do a post. I do have rather fast internet at my house, usually takes um, a little bit of time, but we are also on uh, Zoom doing uh, or doing this uh, webinar. So keep that in mind. It will take just a moment or two. And you can go and create more of your posts. So if you wanted to, you could start creating another post and then just come back here every once in a while to check to see how far along we have gotten. We're at three of five. So as you see, it's not going to take very long. This is part of the automation that I like doing. It allows me to get the task running while I go and create another task, get it queued up. In other words, let's say I may be selling um, video embeds on Fiverr or SEO clerks and someone purchased 100 video embeds. So I've got my PBN of 100, vid, uh, 100 sites. I log in, I create the actual post, grab the video embed URL, post it up, get it ready. And then once it's done, we can come back over here and then you can see that it's completed. We have five successful uh, submissions. We're gonna download the report. We're going to open it up. Now here is one of the best parts. These are the URLs of the blog posts. This is a report that you can send directly over to your customers for them to verify that yes, you did the work. So I'm going to choose this one, minimize this, and open it up, paste that in. And here is the blog post. And if we scroll down to the bottom, we see these beautiful characters. Now I'm going to talk about these characters. These are what's called uh, amlets. 
or their special characters used in different languages, such as German or uh, French or, or Spanish. They all have the special characters around or above the actual text. You're able to sell this capability of that using their text, their own language, and do posts for them, building backlinks in their own language. This is something that a lot of uh, places overlook. You can now do that util using Yive sites and Auto Yive together. It's a one two power punch that is going to help your business over time. So let me go ahead and we're going to look at a couple of other posts here real quick. So we looked at the bottom one. We're, we're going to look at all, all five. I'm actually going to open up another tab. And oh, that one's fine. It's not quite secure yet. And it is coming up. And you also have to realize these, these are subdomains. So subdomains do take a little bit more time to set up because it's DNS. That is one of the things, yeah, we're, we're definitely gonna see this a few times, but we're just going to proceed anyway. I there assume, it is. I assume, Kurt, as time goes on, that these will update to be secure automatically with Yive. That is correct. It's just basically the SSL certificate hasn't been updated through Cloudflare for the subdomain. That's the biggest issue. That's the big issue. So you're going to notice that's a different image. That's a different image. And I think this one is a different image as well. So you can see it rotated through all three images doing the posts. There's the special characters. Well, let's look at the text. So here's the title. You need to embed your social media video clips. And why you need to embed your social media clips. And then let me wait for that to move out of the way. Scroll up to the top. Why you need to embed your YouTube clips. It rotated or used the spin text in order to make those titles unique. And of course, the text is going to be unique as well. Uh, it helps ranking your video since your video embeds are thought about customer interaction signals by YouTube. Well, let's see what this one says. It helps rank your video clips since video embeds are considered customer involvement signals by YouTube. So it rotates and changes the text based upon how you set up your spin text. And of course, you can use services such as Spin Rewriter, uh, Spinner Bros, there are a ton of different spinners out there that you can utilize. And I'm sure Stephen's going to be able to help you on that one as well, give you a good tip or an idea of where to go to actually get those uh, spinners. Yeah. Now, one of the other things that Auto Yive does is we can actually do a post for a new video. Now, you're going to notice that we have posts and we have video posts. So if we come over to videos, you're going to notice that there's none here, but underneath the post for blog name five, the brand new post, it's right here. So videos are posted just a little bit different. If I click on create new video, it'll come up. We could put in the title, put in the body information, choose a thumbnail and put in the video YouTube video URL. Now, in this case, you can only do YouTube video URLs. If you utilize the way I do it by utilizing the iframe and you use just the new post instead of new video, you can go ahead and use it for Vimeo, Wistia, and other um, video players that allow to be embed on different websites. I think there was a, quite a few different ones. Um, trying to think of one that was just not too, several years ago, I can't remember off the top of my head. That's what happens when you get older. <laughs> okay so with what you've seen so far this is the simplicity of it we are adding the ability um it's not available yet but we are adding uh development's going to be starting within about a week um to where you can actually type put in tags and category on each of the posts as well so you're going to be able to type in the category, type in the tags. It's going to populate that in there. 
spin the title, spin the body text. You're going to be able to choose a random thumbnail out of the default uh, media library inside of Yive. So we're automating it as well as giving you a ton more options that you can utilize in order to make each one of these posts unique. So are there any questions? Because this is simple software as it gets. I'll tell you what, Kurt, this is, this is super exciting. Because I think, Matt, you know, the time you took to build those first five sites and post to them, Imagine, right. Mark, guys, if you had a hundred sites you want to post to, or you know, this is because because the thing is, you get Yive Unlimited, um, which I know there's still a link out there that I've shared with a few people so that you Definitely. can still you can still get that deal. So you get Yive Unlimited, and you have multiple numbers of sites on there that you can post to. You can either select them individually or all of them. I mean, this, this is just amazing. There is one one question in straight away: How do I buy this? That's from Bob. So I was just wondering <laughs> if you just wanted to run through that for him and, and I'll put the link in the chat in a, in a moment. Sure, sure. So Stephen's going to be supplying you the actual um, link and it's going to be taking you over to the Auto Yive checkout page. Now, you're going to notice that it's showing $37 monthly and $379 yearly. When you click on subscribe, there is going to be a discount code and it is DFY themes. When you put that in, you're going to notice it drops the actual amount to $27.01 for monthly. And if we go back and choose yearly and do the exact same discount code, you're going to notice that there's a dramatic difference here as well. So it's DFY themes. And from $379 today to $276.67. So that is a massive savings. It's 27% is what but, you're going to be saving. Am I right in saying, Kurt, that um, as you add more and more features, the prices, I assume the price is going to increase because all these products always have extra costs involved with running them. New so, customers uh, will be paying a higher price. That is correct. Existing customers will be locked into the price that they pay. Awesome. Right now. Awesome. Can I point out something that may be obvious to some and not others. Sure, um, sure. The tool that we're talking about here is the automation that is going to save so much time. If you're trying to build one blog on Yive, which let's 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 give credit where credit is due. Yive Sites is an incredible platform. It is just the the tools with inside Yive. Phenomenal. You you can't you can't get better than that as far as what what they're doing and, and like like Kurt showed you can do videos one way or you can do them another way. There, there's always more more than one way to skin a cat, so to speak. That's a, probably a poor phrase to use, but that's what I could come up with at the moment. But there's always <laughs> another way to do something. And exactly. when you have people showing you the different ways that can be used, it becomes even more powerful. That was like. Just seeing the the way that that post was put together, yes, that takes a little time, but you put one of those together, you plug in the auto yives, and you have a hundred or whatever number you set it to be, right. blog posts automatically. And did you see the quality of the blog post? The, but between the embed video, all by that by itself is, we could talk about SEO for hours about embedding videos right oh Each video, absolutely i can oh man that, that's <laughs> huge so now you can spin videos you can put them on different platforms they don't have to come from youtube but you have to know those little nuances if you will of the tools and how to use them which i appreciate that very much for i i was being quiet but i was jumping in my seat while you were going through that i didn't want to interrupt you but then a, a lot of people are moving over from to Vimeo or, or Wistia because they're afraid of the uh, stringentness of YouTube and the censorship inside of YouTube. So and I understand that. So that's the reason why I was like, this has got to be a tool that we can iframe the videos in, which if you're wanting to go to YouTube and grab a video URL, 
I'm going to let me go ahead and I'm a boxing nut. So I apologize if this offends <laughs> anyone. Um, and I'm just going to click on share and click on embed. And then there's the iframe code. You right. can copy that and paste it in. Vimeo is not much different. So if we come over to Vimeo and I'm sure they have a demonstration video or there's watch and I'm just going to grab a video and I'm, I don't know if it's embeddable or not. We're going to find out. I'm pretty sure they are. Um, well, Shab, so I, Shab I, button. I, yep. I'm looking for it. Let me hmm. close that out. Uh, bit lower down near your mouse. You're near it to, just to the right. There that it is. Box, sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So here's the embed code. You copy that embed code. Guess what? I didn't make this video, but I can utilize this video. I could search for this video, put it in my posts on my blogs to make my blogs much more interactive, sticky power. People read, they see the video, they click the link. Do you know I mean, something? Uh, I, I, used, I used to build um, sites out, right? WordPress sites out manually to build my own, my own blog network, PBN, right? Private right. blog network. And then I'd have to go to the, each of those individually to post my videos that I've created on YouTube, right? Mm -hmm. And get those on my blog site. So I had 50 blog sites I had to do manual, go across each one manually, recreate each 50, each one, one of the 50 posts, point back to my YouTube channel with a video on, and then that YouTube channel would have a link to my money site to help boost my money site up. Now, like, the reason I did it that way was because I was always worried that if I drove bad links to one of my um, blog sites, it could damage all my, my money site. With this system that I love, it's you own every single blog site on Yive. So it means you can, if you, you can go in and change it, you can edit it. If you put a link up you're not happy with, you can take it down. If you buy links on Fiverr or one of those other sites, you have no control over those links. Right, and that's what I love about this. And how quick, how quick and easy was that? Five sites, really quickly, is unbelievable. Five well, sites, even, built. Even the point, the point I was going to was going back at was if you think about this, money wise, if I wanted to build a hundred blog sites, any other way to become a single niche PBM? First of all, the labor intensive act to do that, I'd never get it done. The, the, the small guy, like you pointed out, Kurt, the guys that don't have the massive team that can do this day in, day out, they don't have the resources to do that kind of um, setups. So beyond that, you'd have to go and start buying domain names to start creating your single niche PBN. If by the end of the, end of the year, you got five or 10 done, you were doing good. But if you plug into this program you don't have to buy the domain names so at 10 right. bucks a pop and you put out 100 blog posts right what's that well, cost well it's not just the blog the domain names it's the ip addresses each there's 60 different ip addresses 60 different servers that you could put it on that's an infrastructure that most people readily do not have available for them do I have servers? Yeah, I've got four, maybe five. Do I have 60? No. No. No, and that's that's what I'm, I'm trying to get. The, 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 the real setup is already done. Then the automation comes in with auto yive. And then all you have to do is do enough work to do a couple spreadsheets and start setting up the blog posts, right? So the blogs are created, put in the blog post. Do you have to do 100? No. You do what you want, but start with the build. Because I'm sure that, that that's one of my questions is how many should I start with? Can I, can I throw 500 blog posts or blogs in and then put posts on those to one money site? You know, well, I, I don't know that that's advisable, but. What, what I would do is look at, you have two different choices. You can go general if you're wanting to sell more backlinks. And then we are adding categories. So when someone say, hey, I'm, I want a uh, um, backlink and video, here's my video, here's my backlink, and I, it's underneath the category of funny kittens. 
you can create the category of funny kittens and post it to all of your generic uh, blogs. Or the second way is more niche specific. You research what subdomains that you want to create whenever you're creating your list of blogs. So the blog name here is also going to be the subdomain, right? So you're going to go over to a tool like Uber Suggest, search for what you're looking for and look for the keywords. And then don't worry about them running together like that. You can hyphenate it too if you wanted to. And then go on down the line. And then here's another keyword and then another keyword and then another keyword. Google still looks at keywords in the URL. So you're going to have a keyword rich subdomain. You're going to have keyword rich titles on each of your blogs. Golden nuggets, golden nuggets. <laughs> if you guys didn't catch that, repeat that, Kurt, please. Sure. So subdomains are very powerful because they don't get penalized if there's a bad person underneath the main domain of Yive sites. You can have blog name here and someone has bad blog and bad blogs posting garbage. Your blog's not going to get penalized by Google. Bad blog is. So you can then create keyword rich subdomains for all of your blogs. If you want niche specific, create them as niche specific blog names. If you want generic blog names, create them in a more generic keyword key sense, make them a video sites, make them interesting blog posts, make them listicles, multiple different ideas that you can do. Wow, that's huge. So let me one more question while, on, while you're on that topic, say I want to create, we won't get into big numbers, we'll keep it small. Let's okay. say I want to okay. create 10 blogs for a, a particular niche, let's, let's say plumbing. And then okay. I want to create 10 blogs for painting, right? Can I set those up in a way, auto, first you have to auto set up the blogs, right? Right, and then create the blogs. So that I can be able to post to a niche with the content in different blogs. Or let's say that you may have a, a plumbing customer in your town. So it would be plumbing-town, plumbing-zip, town-plumbing, setting up each one of the blog uh, subdomains here. Wow. You set, you set up 10. You then grab their videos off of YouTube. If they're doing YouTube videos, highly recommend that they do. Embed them into these blogs that you're creating. So, because if you have Yive Unlimited, utilize it. Mm. Right. So that right, right there, what you just said to me is you, you, can, you can zero in on like location-based blog names by zip, location, description, right. whatever. And that will increase the authority of what you're pointing that blog at for that location-based information. Because of the URL, right? Google right. still puts authority on the URL. That is correct. I love the fact as well that when you created these, you get a report with the URLs in, that you can then correct. take those URLs and put them on another site that you own as, as to share those links as backlinks to your blog sites that you've done on Yive. Correct. You can also use a service like Link Processor and submit all the posts to them as well, and they'll get indexed quicker. It's just it's crazy powerful. You know, it's, it, Sue's asking, by the way, um, can I sell guest posts like offering them on a service like Fiverr? Absolutely. That's one of my favorite places. This is actually where I got the idea from is I'd go over to Fiverr and buy blog embeds for videos, um, guest posts. Yes, I'd resell them on, I'd actually buy them on Fiverr and then resell them to my customers. 
but yes, I'd go over to Fiverr and do that exact same thing. You can also go to Upwork. You can go to people per hour. There's other gig sites that you can, SEO clerks is another one. And I find this super powerful because if you get your size un unlimited, and I know that's just under $200 for the um, unlimited version. And obviously you themselves release that every, every so often. And right. then of course, you know, it's, it's, about what just it's under 300 bucks for um the yearly on this plugin so you right. have the two together 500 dollars a year well actually sorry that's not true it's it's 200 dollars one time and then it's 300 dollars a year to use right. this right have a think about this. don't count the cost of buying into yive in the first place but think about paying the 300 dollars a year that that is you know the 27 dollars a month you do one gig a month, right? For 30 bucks guest posting. You've covered your cost with this, with your eyes shut. And, but if you're doing local SEO, hmm? a lot of your local clients will pay for the posts. You could charge them X number of dollars per post, which is more than what you could sell for on five. I know. And I, I can't believe I should do this manually with 50 WordPress sites. I had to buy 50 domain names in the niches that I wanted them in, keyword times location, and then manually go to each of those to put a blog post up individually. And right. yes, there, there are plugins now you can use where you can post all of them, but the, the, the things, it, it still takes your time to do this. With this system that I love, is the fact you can build your blog sites instantly. You can then grab some content, that you had put together, you can pay someone to put it together or put it together yourself, spin it in a spinner, come to here, stick it in, all your content spun, hit a button and boom, it posts out to 5, 10, 50, 20, however many you want. Exactly. You are in control of your own private blog network. When you're selecting what, which blogs to post to, you can select one, five, all, Click select all and post it every single one of them or remove a few. Yeah. I only want 106 or 105, however that may be. The way I'm going to use this, I'm going to create generic blogs. And then when you release your category feature, yes, I'm going to do niche down categories if, on, all, if on, all, on all the sites. Exactly. If people are wanting to get into this to sell backlinks, which is a great viable money making service. Absolutely do that. Without a doubt, absolutely do that. And I'm also going to show you one more thing. If by chance you're afraid of the domain Yive sites, well, you can actually come down and create a custom domain. Make sure that you set up a C name on your DNS, pointing it to whatever blog name that you want it to and then paste it here and click save domains. It'll take about up to 72 hours for propagation. And then it will be on your custom domain if you want it. And that's crazy. That's even crazy. So if you have, everyone has a domain, domain name or two knocking around that you've done nothing with. That's just sitting there and you're thinking, I'm going to get rid of that. I don't, I don't, I don't want to pay for it anymore. Imagine if you have a domain name, you've owned five, six years, aged domain, or you buy an aged domain you don't know what to do with. You come in here and do this. And guys, if you're worried about doing C names and stuff, I'll, if I get enough people asking me in our groups, I'll put together a little video on how to do C names and update it. Then you can have your blog dot your domain dot com and then what? start building out on that. So, so not only then you've got the eye sites power, you've got your own one as well. It's crazy. Right. Like we have here, I've got news dot epiccast.com uh, that was one that Bob, Bob just came in with was uh, is there any loss of or is there a difference if you use a custom domain versus using the Yive sites domain um, as the URL is there any no. difference in SEO N not really Yive sites is in a growing and established blog network like wordpress.com and blogger.com now, how many bad sites have people seen on WordPress.com? Hundreds, thousands. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. So, but WordPress.com is still 
you could still search for it, still find it. There's no issue. You could see other people's blogs on it. Yeah. So it's, it's because it's a subdomain that doesn't correct. affect the main domain. That's exactly right. And vice versa. The main domain doesn't affect the subdomains. Mm. So it is the power of the way Google works as well as the other search engines work. Yeah, so it all depends on what you're setting up for your business. If, if you have a business of doing uh, blog posting for local businesses and you have uh, postyourbusinessblogs.com, you could have that as a custom domain and it wouldn't matter. Correct. Or if by chance that you have a customer and um, they can create a few C names for their main domain, set up subdomains using that once again. And it's all tied to them. The, the power it, it the makes power. it it makes it feel like it's theirs, but you're in control of it. Yeah, the power is endless. But if you really think about it, nobody has the time and ability for even even if you look at the yearly at three hundred less than three hundred dollars a year, who's going to go out and set up ten blog blogs and start posting to it? They're going to go out and pay for it from somebody, and they're going to pay more than three hundred dollars to have. 10 blogs created and posted to. Right. It's that's insane. And you don't the, have the control either. Right. You're in total control. You're in total control. You know, I, I just came up with one amazing idea. I've got some old domain names that aren't great names. And I've been thinking, what can I do with them? I point, I set them up in here. All right. I get posts running on them. And then as I've built up enough posts over over a month, a couple of months. And then chuck the site on Flipper. Yes. You know, and uh, you know, that is that is the nice thing about this is, you know, I can flip the site and say to someone, well, if you want your own version, get yourself Yive Sites, which by then is probably going to be monthly. And also get you, get this plug in and you can start posting to this domain name yourself. Exactly. It's um, the, the opportunities are absolutely endless um bob says um did you say that, that, that it's not just in english it's in more than what you can do this in one, more than one language correct so we can do special characters and these are um i cannot remember how to enunciate this word so i apologize um special characters yeah that's <laughs> that's <laughs> m lots that's and it's special characters used in different languages, such as German, uh, Spanish. Uh, I'm not for sure if Cyrillic will do this. I haven't tested it with Cyrillic uh, letters, but I'm sure if it does Amlets, it will do Cyrillic as well. Hmm. Another whole huge market that yes. you could go into for, I mean, the Spanish market where I live in Florida is is a huge market that is untapped. Just insane. What, what I mean, Portuguese, Spanish, French, Italian, German, Norwegian. It's just worldwide. And and uh, Paul's just saying he's, he's he's just said seeing that there that image SRC does that mean that image gets embedded onto the blog post so that you, so people can see it. Yes, this is HTML for image source. That's M-I-G-S-R-C. There's a space between. And then you're going to notice that I have three URLs, HTTPS, HTTPS, HTTPS. And in between, there's a, a pipe, which is the line that goes straight up and down. And then you're going to notice that I have this nice little curly bracket opening and then closing here. That means this is spinning this image on each time it makes a post. It'll do one, then it'll do another, do another. It'll actually randomize it whenever it's creating the posts. This is the beautiful portion about spin text. That's spin text there. So it's a use it using the word embedded or installed views, sites, as well as you can see each individual one as they're brought together that spin text, and it will even do nested spin text. So you can have another spin text over the top of this spin text. It's so crazy, you know. And uh, another question that, well, not so much more a comment, and I agree with this, Sue, 
she said <clears throat> when she first logged into Yive site, she went, "Oh my God, where do I start?" Right, and I right. And, and I'm on it. I'm honest, I got confused in the dashboard when I first logged in. And the cool thing about this plugin is you don't have to worry about any of the the features on that side. You just log in, install the Chrome extension, create your list on on um, Excel or a spreadsheet, upload the CSV file to the plugin, and boom, it builds the blog sites. Then come back and post to those blog sites. You don't need to know anything about Yive apart from how to log into it. That's it. That's the other beautiful portion. A lot of people, exactly what you said, had difficult time wrapping their head. How do I utilize this? How do I use this? Okay, I have unlimited sites, but there's no way I can, I'm going to make more than five or 10. Yeah. Now you can. Now you can efficiently. Now you can effectively. And so now it's nice. cost effective. And you got a record of what you've done. Exactly. Michael was asking, even though it's so much simplified with with the uh, Auto Yives plugin, is there training how to use that? Uh, the Auto Yive? Yes. Yeah. Um, I'm going to be including training along with that because as you see how simple it is, yes, I'm going to be including tra training as well, just to be on the safe side and to give a little bit more tips, very similar to the tips that uh, we've been explaining tonight. What's cool, guys, if you get this tonight and, you, and you're and you not sure, you can watch the replay. I'll, I'll keep the replay up for everyone, and I'll add the replay to the DFI members area as well. So you can come back and watch this again you know, and go over what Kurt's just built here. You know, the, the power of this saves so much time. I, I've, I'll be honest with you, Kurt, I've wasted so much time building PBNs with this, right? You know, at 27 dollars and i think a, 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 a cent a month right you now 27 dollars and a penny that's it and a penny yeah you know it's it's um it's just crazy and and you know, i don't know how you can do it at that price to be honest it's worth 10 times that price per month because i, I, I you spent save money on the yearly as well don't you save like 50 yeah. bucks by the yearly uh you save 27 percent, so i think it goes down to like uh, 270 some odd yes. yeah it's just so it's which crazy which value. the yearly the yearly by itself saves you two months mm. so that's right. yeah that's, so that's even a little over 50 bucks you're saving right there just grabbing the yearly right and look we're if, if you're if you guys are in this as a hobby and you're not building sites and you're not doing any you're just playing around you don't need this but in reality at the end of the day if you have any sincerity to building business and building your income up this is how you do it. You get the automation tools that just make your life simple. Build, build 50 blog posts. And maybe, maybe you're not in business to sell backlinks, but if you want to rank your own sites, there it is. This is, this is easier than trying to create a blog, a, a blog I mean, a, a website page using MPP. You got to go through the same steps to get that content. And you put this in, in a blog post with spun content with bit video embeds and the rest of it, you're you're good to go. And you point that at your money sites or your or your interior, your interior sites between your money site and your blog post. There's so many different ways you can look at this. Right. And just take right. just if you don't jump in on this and you're in this as a business, you're making a mistake. Well, and, and the other thing is YouTube videos, Vimeo videos. You want to get them ranked? You want to get views on them? It's Inventing. any video that you can embed. Yes. That's the power. Any, you know? video that, yeah. any video that is allowed to be embed because some, I, I can't say any, um, and some of them do not allow yeah. you to embed in other sites. But those sites that are out there, if you're not sure, you take the embed code and you stick it on a post on your WordPress site temporarily just to test it or one of the, or single one of these blogs. Go right. and view it once. If it views fine, then you then you, then you're all good to go. That's you know? it. Um, one other question that came in, I think it might have been Paul. I'm not sure. Um, was asking if you add your own domain, how do you select it within your, within the tool? Great question, because remember, each one of your blogs also, you name them. So 
whatever you name them is how you're going to be able to select them. Oh, cool. So, so if it was abc.com, you could, right. you could lab, label it as, as news.abc.com. And then, exactly. and, and then, so when you create the blogs themselves, you, do you link the domain name to the blog you've created? Um, no. Uh, when you're creating the blogs, um, we're doing it just as subdomain of Yife sites. Yeah. Once so you uh, customize it, then if you want to customize it, you have to unfortunately touch each one here hmm. so you put one one domain you only put one domain in here correct right right and then after that it, it all all of them will, will be that no in this than... case it's just news uh that right. podcast is just yeah. one okay uh, this, is, this is just the one so yeah yeah they're asking for the link again um can we put that up somewhere i'll get that into the into the chat to you guys that's not a problem um, you know, and I mean, this, the, the value of this, it, it just blows my mind cut that you've created this tool that I can now go off and build a thousand generic PBNs. <laughs> yes. I, and I can then, I can, and, and we're giving you guys some great tips here. Number one, you can do backlinks for your customers that you control, right? And I would say, if you're doing customer backlinks, create like 20 blogs, don't go mad. Right, and then and then if that customer stops Shoot paying you, go 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 to fifty. Yeah, 50, start off then. with fifty. Yeah. That way, you're testing out the software, mm. and you're understanding it. Well, what I'm saying is, is, if you did fifty links for your cust for a customer who's paying you monthly for that for that for those links, and they stop paying you, well, it doesn't take long to nip through the fifty blogs and remove those those posts if you want to, or change the URLs. Right. You know, or you can even do you can delete the blogs as well. Mm. Totally. Yeah. So, so if you're creating those subdomains for plumber John at your zip code dot com, he doesn't pay you, delete the blog. Yeah. Or go to his competitor and sell them the back. <laughs> so that's 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 that's, <laughs> well, that's probably the better way to do it is, is going and change the link to a competitor's one or your own. Right. You know. Um and then this, the other way is you offer the this service to someone on Fiverr for 30, 50, 60, there's, there's a lot of money out there. Go and look on Fiverr alone and upwork of what people charge for this service. I'll go to fiverr.com right now and I'm just going to sign in real quick just to go with what you're talking about. Mm. Get, you know, get a couple of gigs a month. That's, that's covered the cost of this straight away and then you've got the rest of it for yourself. And... Uh, annoyingpopup.com <laughs> exactly uh vimeo video embed let's see if there, anyone's offering that service i will embed your youtube i wonder how many this one's doing into your wordpress blog never mind He's just posting it into your blog and he's charging five bucks. If, if you come you come back one page, the very first one, did it say I'll submit your embed code to 50 blogger blogs? Yep, 50 so, blogger blogs. Start so starting at five bucks. Four day what, delivery. Yeah, so you have to wait four days for him to deliver it. And I bet there's an upsell for faster and 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 stuff like that on, on the oh, deal. Oh yes. One gig two gigs, three gigs, that's one day extra fast delivery, yeah. five more bucks. Yeah. And, and I guarantee you, she's, she got two orders in queue. She's got 414 confirmed sales. How long you think that sale comes in? If, if you, if you copied and, and, and said, I will embed this onto 50. High ranking I, I, be, I bet you, she, I bet you, she even says, do you want your link to go along with it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. If That's so, more money. it's on more money. <laughs> yeah, That's exactly yeah, right. Again, you're, you're not in control of, of the, the content that they're putting those links in. Right. On those blogger blogs, if they are truly all going on blogger blogs, so they are. But what if they're putting in unrelated content with your links on, on a particular blog? What if their blog is all about sewing and you're, you're one of a backlink for, a service industry, you know, that's not sewing. You don't know what they're going to do. So you're not in control of your links. Again, no matter what the cost is, 
and they may right. hurt you more than it helps you. That's right. So uh, fifty four, thirty bucks. And the thing is, as well, think about this: if you manage to get yourself a good high um, DR domain, expired domain that's got good authority online, and it just right. needs content, well, you, you you bung up some posts anyway yourselves. And then you come back in here and put a post up, put a job up, and boom, you, know, you, you, you get you know, people who order these. Look at how many people have ordered some of these. You know? Right. 1,000 here. Yeah. Guest posts would do follow backlinks. Yeah. It's just crazy, crazy, guys. So the link's in the chat. I know Kurt's got um, another call to go and do in a moment. I so do. we really appreciate all your time on this training. And there's so many amazing ideas with this, Kurt. And I know you're just going to keep adding to this product. And as time goes on, guys, the price is going to go up. So if you buy it today, you'll get grandfathered in at that price well, forevermore. Well, here's the thing. The price today is $37. Yeah. Stephen and Roberts negotiated me down to $27 and a penny. For and we opinion. appreciate you doing that because we know it, it's really appreciated on our end because you're helping out. You know, we're, we're all about making everything simple. That's what Done For You Magic Teams is all about, about being simple, having something that you can put together very quickly as far as the site goes. Now back that up with a very simple, very easy, quick way to do um, not only create the blogs, but the blog posting to those sites. And you, you, you can't lose. That's the, that's the reality. Because all these pieces come together to make one puzzle. And if you guys yes. don't know that yet, we're always, me and Stephen, I'm going to say, are basically lazy. We want to make things as yeah. simple as possible, push button easy, and no matter what we do. Now, if it takes, if it takes a while to put a system together so that it, all you have to do is, you know, load a file and it's completed and it's done. We'll spend that time and we'll spend that money to build that system together. And Kurt did the same exact thing here. He saw an opportunity to take a good thing, which is Yive Sites, and add to it with the automation to make it simple, fast. Let the computer do the work. Yeah, you have to do some work in the beginning, but you always do. There's always a little bit of work to do something. But then right. hit the button and let it replicate 50, 100, 500, whatever your license is. You, you can't miss out on that. You know, do the work, but look at the reward at the end when you have multiple sites or your business is selling, you know, to local business and you're selling the blog posts or you're selling the backlinks or you're selling the video embeds. Whatever your business is, this is going to automate it. Jump on this. Don't let it pass you by because I don't I don't think that thirty seven dollars is going to last long either. I think that's yeah. going up. And the thing is, and, well, guys, just to say the deal that Kurt's done for me is on a percentage. So when you when you're in the members area playing this back at a later date and you come in and you go, what, you message me going, it's not twenty seven dollars anymore and a, and a penny. It's because the products added more features, prog products go up in price. So you'll still get a discount. But it may not be this this price today. I'm just warning you. Um, and just one other quick question, Kurt. Someone said, "Can I run this on a VPS?" Um, sure, absolutely. It's, it has to run on Google Chrome and the latest version of Google Chrome. Make sure you're updated. Yeah. Simplest way to make sure that you're updated is click on those three wonderful dots. Come on down to help. Go to about Google Chrome, and then it will make sure that you are up to date. Wow, wow, wow. This is um, super, super crazy and amazing value, Kurt. I appreciate you doing a discount for everyone and, who's and, watching this. And just FYI, once we add the randomization for the images, for the thumbnails, mm -hmm. and we add the categories and the tags, and we are uh, allow you to select which themes that you want us to randomize through, the price will be going up. So uh, and that doesn't surprise me because it, it's already super powerful at $27 and a penny per month. 
and like, obviously you know if you go yearly it's even cheaper again i'm not gonna do the maths right now but it's uh, you, you save almost two months yeah that's not that's probably not even 20 bucks a month right so it's a little over, Kurt, little I, over. I, just want, yeah. I just want to thank you so much for your time yeah. your expertise and sharing this in the way that you did because it, it just gives a whole new light to what can be done and the ease of use is there um and and for for some of us that might not get it the first go round there will be additional training just to get you started because when you you don't know what you don't know until right, somebody right. shows you the steps you plug in you you build whatever well you build 50 or you build 10 you start with something and again if you screw them up or they're not right you can delete them but you're going to get the training to get you started and and start testing that system and if you, if you're not sure and you want to point your your links to something that doesn't matter until you built your first five, just testing the system, you can do that. But yes, without yes. pushing forward and without having the automation, the, the reality is most of us won't do it. We just right. won't get it done. One more thing. This is the Chrome web store does host this Chrome extension. Um, keep in mind that the only reason why it's allowed to be up there is because they've inspected it so google has approved to allow this and the second portion of that is the creator of yive sites also approved me creating this so i'm not backdooring this software without the product owner's knowledge and you know saying uh, there's a lot of products out there that do come out and, and a very good one good example is facebook there's a lot of products out there with facebook that aren't approved by facebook and then they get shut down so remember, right. this is this is here for the long term, guys. I know Marcus at Yive um, is in for the long haul with what he's doing, uh, yes. you know, and that's why the, the 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 unlimited versions aren't around forever. And I'll put a link in. I'll put a link in in the chat. If you go to um, yive sitescom that takes you through to the page where where you can get the unlimited version. And I'll put the link in the chat as well, so you can come and get the um, plug-in and so, you know the, the Chrome extension. And just thank you, thank you, Kurt. There's so many ideas with this that you know it's exploding my mind. We could talk for hours. I know you've got to get to your other call, and I just I want do. to say a big thank you for showing us this today. And I know lots of people are going to take you up on it. Thank I appreciate you, your time. Thank you both very much for for allowing me time to speak to your group. 